Mm. This morning's coffee is brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts, which is where my uh, youngest son works. He's got his first job there. So this morning I've got an iced coffee to kick off this RDI presentation. Why RDI? Haven't you waffled enough about RDI? I hear you asking. Yes, I have waffled enough about RDI. Here is my blog talking about how to install the thing from going to IBM, downloading it, installing it, and running it, and how to use it, and then applying the license. But I've just completely rebuilt this desktop PC that you're watching me record this on um, after putting a new hard drive in there. And I've no longer got RDI installed on this machine. So I'm about to go and download it and install it. So I figure, why not make a video and watch, you can then watch me download, install in real time. Because I have had a couple of, <clears throat> excuse me, I have, had a, I have had a couple of comments from people saying they had problems downloading or they couldn't understand or navigate their way through the weirdness of the IBM website. So um, let's go and do it. I'll record it all in real time. Uh, apart from maybe pausing when it's downloading big things and pausing maybe when I'm taking big cups of coffee. <sighs> so I'm going to pause right now, gather myself and uh, do this. Okay, step one. So step one is go to the IBM Rational Developer website. I might as well go through this little sample class I've got and download it. So as my link says here is let's wander off to IBM. Now we can do the automated web install, which is pretty cool, or we can download everything in the zip. I tend to do the automated web install. Um, it's pretty easy. It installs the IBM installation manager, which is what handles that install. And we need to use the installation manager because that's what we use later on for applying product updates when they release fixes. It takes us off to IBM, asks us to log in. As I've mentioned in previous videos, if you don't have an IBM ID, create one. I do have one, so I'm going to fill it in. Um, my IBM ID and password I store using LastPass, which stores my passwords and encrypts them, and it's all lovely. I recommend you checking it out if you haven't used it before. It just means that I don't have to ever worry about remembering my passwords, and I can change them to big, stupid, long passwords without any problems. Once you log into Fix Central, it takes me off to the right. Are you sure this is what you want to download? And I'm going to download the latest version, 9.6. I don't actually think that is the latest version. I think there's a fix to it, like 9.6.0.2 or something. Um, but let's go ahead and do it. So once we've got here, we see it's the uh, interim fix, whatever this is. And let's download the trial web install. Uh, I've got a pretty fast internet connection. Uh, it's telling me 40 seconds to download 300 megs. So I'm just going to pause it for a second while that's going. And boom. Scan for virus, and that's all good. So once you've downloaded the file, we're going to open it. Now what we see in here is two installers. One's the 32-bit installer, and one's the 64-bit installer. It's completely up to you. If you run the admin install batch files, it will tell you or ask you which one you want to install, or maybe it'll just figure it out. I'm gonna unzip this entire thing into just my downloads folder, just so it's somewhere to run. And while that's installing, I'll pause. And there we go. So let's go and have a quick look-see now. <laughs> look at all the random nonsense I have in my download folder. Anyway, so what this is installed down here is, well, I know that I'm going to do my uh, the 64-bit install. This is what I want to do. So if I go into the installer image 64 folder, you can go in 32, however it is you want to do it, um, and just run the install.exe. Um, I always run it as administrator. But I believe if you just run it normally, it will ask you, hey, this should be administrator. Um, just because there's all kinds of stuff. So what this is installing, first of all, is the IBM Installation Manager. The Installation Manager is just their tool for installing products and going and getting the, the stuff from the web. So what it asked me, first of all, is how am I going to connect to the IBM download site to go and download the stuff? Now, what is this username and password? This username and password is the IBM Fix Central username and password. So for me, because I'm using LastPass, I can copy my username and password direct into this tool but of course if you just know what your IBM central ID and password is you key it in here all 
all it's doing here is saying, hey, you're trying to copy a password out of your last pass vault. So I have to put like my master password in. Uh, anyway, so here's my IBM Central username and my IBM Central password. It asked me if I want to do a password against the central storage. That's where it stores all of its internal RDI stuff on my machine. Um, I tend not to because it's just my machine. It's only me that ever uses this thing. And if anyone really wants to hack my old source code, who cares? Obviously, if you want to enter a password, enter it there, click remember, and off it goes. So this is the install manager running. When the install manager has run, it's told me, okay, what I'm gonna install is the IBM install manager version 187. Oh, and it's gone off and looked at the latest version of Rational Developer and said, right, not only am I gonna install the latest version of Rational Developer, I'm also gonna install the latest fix pack. So it's installing 9.6 and immediately upgrading it to 9.6.0.8, the catchly titled. So um, hopefully, once this is run, we're gonna have the install manager set up and the very latest version of Rational Developer. So I'm just gonna click Next. And what it's now doing is going off using my IBM ID, talking to IBM, correlating all the download packs, and it starts on this mission of a huge download. Um, when I've run this in the past through the work machine, this can take quite some time. Um, it's taken like four or five minutes in the past. I know the days of the 90s when downloading things took hours are long past us. Now I'm just super spoiled. But uh, I've got a really fast internet connection at home. So let's see how quickly I can go and get all this stuff. Again, I'm just going to pause while it's doing it. Oh, or I'm not going to pause because it's gone straight on to the next screen. So now it's telling me, okay, I've got to install the IBM Java Platform Standard Edition version 8. So I'm guessing it's telling me that I need to have a different version of Java installed. Um, this is new. It never used to do this. And I'm wondering if it's because Java have uh, changed their uh, rules now and developers can include a bundled version. Either way, that's what they want me to do. So I'm just going to say, yep, that's fine. IBM Java Platform Standard Edition. Never heard of that. Okay, warning. About to do this thing. Do you want to? Yes, I do. Do you agree to all this stuff? Yep, I accept that. Of course I accept that. And of course I accept that. Now, you saw me scroll up and down and read, read every single word of that, didn't you? Yeah. Click Next. Okay, where do I want to install it? Do I want to install it on my C drive? Uh, yes, I might as well. It's getting itself together. It confirms once again that what we're about to install it in my case is the 64-bit. Uh, you can install 64 with, if you're 64-bit. I assume you are. Most PCs are now, right? What language? I want to install English. What's next? Oh, it's quite exciting. Okay, this is the bit that's a bit confusing if you've never installed RDI before. RDI comes with a whole bunch of different plugins that do different things within RDI. So obviously it's saying we're going to install the IBM Installation Manager, we're going to install the RPG and COBOL tools. Um, and that's all we need to install to do our classic, you know, editing of RPG, um, CL, COBOL, DDS, all that kind of stuff. But there are these other, other modernization tools that are built into it, like web and mobile developer tools, um, Cordova, Bluemix, and some WebSphere tools. Um, the, Eclip the Eclipse Git provider is quite useful if you want to use Git change management. Um, but if you want to install these extra things and you know they're for you, install them. But I, in this case, on this machine, I'm just going to install the RPG. So I'm not changing any defaults. Off we go again. So it's now looking at what I downloaded from RDI 9.6. Excuse me, and installing it. So it tells me once again, because it doesn't want to mess up, we're about to install Installation Manager, RDI, and uh, the, the new Java plugin for RDI, because it's all written in Java. Um, and it's going to be just under 2 gig. Off we go to install. Now here we are, and as you can see, it's downloading. So what it's doing is not only installing what we've got, but it's grabbing the new stuff. Um, this might take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause. I wonder if it will finish before I finish. It's not looking good. I mean, not looking good that it will beat my coffee. 
into my stomach, into my tummy. Coffee one, RDI install two. It's been running about two minutes now. I'm going to pause till it finishes. And three and a half minutes later, we're back. So it's completed. Packages are installed. Rational developer fry. That all looks lovely. I'm going to finish. Right, so this is the third. When you finish, the first thing it does is it launches RDI. Uh, it asks me where I want to save my workspace, all my temporary files. Uh, it defaults to this IBM subfolder off the off whatever your username is on your machine. I just go, yeah, that's the default. Don't ask me again. I don't care where you store stuff. Um, and off it goes. So here's RDI launching for the first time on this machine. This should be the latest version. Oh, and of course, it's uh, launched over on my other screen. The first question that it comes up with is, um, because this is the trial that it downloaded, uh, what do you want to do? Now, for, as it's the first time, let me just ignore this and show you it running, and then we'll apply the license in a second. Uh, multiple screens. So, rational developer for I. Here we are. Now, the good thing is that because I've had this installed previously, where an older version of RDI, it's actually remembered the different connection types that I had. Here's a couple of connections to one of my uh, client machines from a long time ago. These connections were obviously stored in that uh, default workspace. Uh, I am not going to connect to their machine. Well, I can't because I've got VPN. But I can now use RDI to do anything that I want to do. RDI is much more than just an RPG, CL, DDS, you know, IBMI, AS400 slash I series developer. We can use it for editing PHP, for editing JavaScript, for editing, editing anything we like on our local machine as well. Um, what I'm going to do right now is end this video. This is RDI up and running. I'm running RDI version 9.6.0.8. Wasn't that painless. I'll end this and I'll add another video where I actually go in. I'm going to import in that DDS source and uh, clean it all up and run an uplift. But for now, 12 minutes, that's it. RDI install, real time.